Do you ever notice the anode somewhat angled in most of the X-ray tubes? Do you guys know? Okay. Okay, I'll explain you guys why the anode is angled in most of the X-ray tube. Now let's get started. In most of the X-ray tubes, you have noticed the anode is somewhat angled, right? So the reason for this anode angle is due to line focus principle. So before going into the line focus principle, let me explain a simple term to understand this concept. Okay. So here I have an anode here. So assume this is anode. So here we have electron beam. It is going to hit the target. The electron beam which is hitting at the target that is called actual focal spot size. Okay. After hitting the target, X-rays are going to produce, right? So that uh, X-ray beam size is called as effective focal spot size. Okay. Now we'll see what is line focus principle. If we want a good quality and sharper radiographic image, what we need is smaller beam size. So to achieve this smaller beam size, the anode is somewhat angled. So by angling the target, what happens is your effective focal spot size that is called your x-ray beam size is going to be reduced line focus principle states that the effective focal spot size is always smaller than the actual focal spot size okay or the actual focal spot size is always larger than the effective focal spot size so by angulating the target we can achieve the smaller x-ray beam size and also by angulating the target, what happens is the electron will eat at the larger region so that heat is dissipated soon quickly and also the target does not damage soon. Even though this principle is very useful, but we have one disadvantage in this line focus principle that is called anode heat effect. The X-ray beam which is produced at the anode side have less intensity but X-ray beam which is produced at the cathode side have more intensity. By angulating the target, what happens is the X-ray beam at the anode side should travel all the way through the heel of the target so that these X-rays interact with the atoms of the target and reduces its intensity. But in the cathode side, the X-ray beam intensity is more because nothing is there to stop the X-rays because here everything is vacuum so all the x-rays will come out from the x-ray tube this is called anode heel effect then how can we rectify this problem yes we can rectify this problem we can easily rectify the problem by placing the thicker part at the cathode side and placing the thinner part at the anode side for example if i'm taking an abdomen x-ray at my upper abdomen i have more organs so i have liver stomach and spleen here so this region is very thick but if I move down to my lower abdomen, I have large intestines and small intestines and also add a speed inside this intestine. So this region is thinner part. So what we, what I have to do is I'm going to place my cathode side at the upper abdomen and obviously my anode side comes at the lower abdomen. By placing the x-ray tube like this, the more intensity x-rays are going to penetrate the thicker region and less intensity x-rays are going to penetrate the thinner region and that is obviously your lower abdomen so this is the way to rectify this anode heel effect problem after many researches the anode angle range was fixed so the anode angle range starts from 6 to 20 degree most of the x-ray tubes are angled in between this range if the anode angle is less than 6 degree what happens is the target is going to be more steep so that anode heel effect is increased hence the x-ray intensity at the anode side is going to be tremendously reduced if the anode angle is more than 20 degree the target is going to be more angulated so that the x-ray beam size is going to be increased so that the sharpness in the radiograph is going to be reduced and the penumbra is increased nowadays in most of the x-ray tubes they are using two anode angles one is small and one is large anode angle so this small anode angle is used to take smaller regions and also your sharpness of the x-ray image is going to be increased but if you use larger anode angles you can expose large region but your x-ray image sharpness is going to be somewhat reduced and that's it about this line focus principle i think this video is useful for you guys 
and if you have any doubts or feedbacks on this video you can feel free to put comments in my comment box i'll try to make it on my upcoming lectures and if you want to know my upcoming videos you can subscribe my channel thank you